Hey guys, Kevin Shaw here, Editor-in-Chief of Mopar Connection Magazine. We're here at Finale Speed in Yukon, Oklahoma to check out those really wicked 1970 all carbon fiber chargers that Direct Connection was putting out and introduced to the world back at SEMA of last year. So we're going to see how they're made, we're going to see all the details about how the process happens, talk to JD, the owner of Finale Speed, and get the skinny on how they got in with Mopar to create these awesome reproduction 1970 chargers made entirely out of carbon fiber. It's some pretty cool stuff and I think you guys will really enjoy it because I know I am. In addition to checking out their carbon fiber Dodge Chargers, Finale Speed let us take a sneak peek at their brand new 1969 Camaros that they were getting ready to reveal the Barrett Jackson auction this week. Well, you know you're in the right place when the candy bowl on the conference table is made out of absolutely flawless carbon fiber. <laughs> All right, so I'm looking at something really unique here. Not JD, he's not that unique. <laughs> but this is something that you'll recognize this as a 69 Camaro, and it is gorgeous. If you guys can take a closer look, this thing is just cherry. And it's not clean, it's not finished, but man, what a neat piece. Now, that's something besides the 70 Chargers that is unique to Finale Speed, right, JD? That is correct. This is the only carbon fiber 600 Camaro. Uh, we are the only builder of this car in the world. Wow. There's, there's another one that's almost finished in the next shop. Okay. But th this was, uh, in this form, we, we finished this about two weeks ago. Okay. So what you're seeing is an actual 1969 Camaro. So it is carbon roof skin, carbon door skin, carbon quarters. Everything external is carbon. Correct. And all the inner structure is steel. Correct. And it's original. Original steel. Okay. Yeah. Look at the back valence. Guys, this is beautiful. Kevin, put your hand back here. Pick up. And oh, how, how we got light, a hood. How light this needs oh, get out of here. <laughs> it don't weigh anything. I thought my fiberglass hoods were light. This is crazy. Guy. And carbon fiber is theoretically stronger than steel, of course. Oh, yeah. Did you tub it? Yes. <laughs> this, this, I don't, this may be too, but when we put the actual mini tubs in for the suspension, we're using all Speed Tech Extreme. Oh, cool. Uh, so it'll have a three inch tub. Okay. To, to accommodate the. Uh, you can tuck some meat in there. That'd yes. be great. All right. Well, this is their metal shop. This allows them to make a lot of really fun stuff. And this is just the, this is the first stop in our tour. So if they could do this with a Camaro, I can't wait to see the other stuff. So uh, these, are, these are the carbon fiber wheel tubs. <laughs> carbon wheel tubs. Yep, for the front. Okay. And the, the rears will be carbon fiber as well. Okay. They're just custom made for us from DSE to accommodate the bigger tires. Okay, okay, very cool. Yeah, all right, that's Dri the entire side of a- Driver's Arbor for a complete 69 Camaro. Oh my gosh, that don't weigh anything. Brothers Composite out of Sheboygan Falls, Wisconsin. They do the carbon fiber work for us. Okay. Uh, it's four brothers and another partner, and they're absolutely the best there is. It's, it's a family-owned little business that takes pride in what they do. What's great is that you can tell it's not flexing or bowing. It doesn't flex. So it's Fred, Fred Carbon, and the guys there really have a, they're a very group of talented, talented individuals. That's impressive. So all the, all the carbon fiber work is done in Wisconsin then? Brothers Composite does that. Okay. And so this is the second so, step. So, so this is a metal shop where they will fit the, uh, put the start putting the suspension and pieces like that on the bottom of the carbon fiber themselves. Okay. We've got a big rotisserie, we'll put it on, kind of spin it up so the guys can work on it eye level. All right, all right. So this is kind of pre-assembly? Pre-assembly, yeah. Okay, cool. Go on to the paint shop. Paint shop. Oh yeah. Doing nothing. Oh, did they get a donut? I did get a donut. 
Good. That's probably why you're sluggish. <laughs> it's my fault. Hi, this is Kevin Shaw. How are you? Good. How are you? Pleasure. The Good guys, to meet you. The guys knew you were coming. Soon, oh, cool. So, uh, and basically, I'm the so they're all working on ship. <laughs> yeah. Great. Yeah. The the one Mopar guy shows up. So we're in the paint booth as it's baking. This is a rear spoiler for their 69 Camaro. And is this on the first round of clear or second round? So this is their second round of clear. They lay on three layers, do their first, first round of sanding on it, making it really, really perfect. And then they add another three layers and then polish it out after that. It looks amazing. Let's see if I can't get more light. Oh yeah, here we go. Guys, this is crazy how nice this is. One of the best things about the process, and if you can't hear me over the fans, is that unlike other maybe cheaper carbon fiber setups, these guys are totally comfortable with it being out in the elements because of the preparation and clear process, it won't chalk up in the sun. It can hold up to the elements really nice. So this is what allows them to make a whole car out of carbon fiber and have it hold up even in the elements and the sunshine. This is really trick. Oh, wow. We got all sorts of stuff here. So this is the restoration. So here, Finale will restore any car. Um, and we, we do it to the same level of expertise that we do the carbon fiber work. Uh, so here you'll see anything from a uh, CT pickup truck, a 57 Corvette. Uh, Guys, we got to take a look at all these. These are amazing. This is also the parts. You'll, you'll recognize, Kevin, how about this? Oh, yeah. You've seen one of these before. Oh, Here, my pick, gosh. Pick this up. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. This thing doesn't weigh two pounds. This is so light. And it's exact time of the 70 chart. I mean, it is yeah. to, to the millimeter exact mold. Okay. What a riot. Look at the lower valence. God. Am I going to get in trouble for touching no, this stuff? No, no, not at all. all right, they're going to yell at me, pockets. <laughs> That's what they're yelling at me. Get your hands in your pockets. And the, the grill comes from a supplier. Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, I want to, now, the, the actuators, they're DSC actuators. Okay. They make that, the electric uh, actuators. Uh, this is maybe an A and D. Okay. Yeah, it's flawless. Yeah, right. The unique thing about a custom car, yes, I, I have 99% of what I want done, but you as the client, you get to decide the finishing touches. Oh. If you wanted markers in it, we'll figure out a way to make them. Okay. Uh, the guys that the assembly these cars, again, they can figure out a way to do it. Sure. This is, okay, here's, all right, it's all embossed so that they can take out for the side markers. Yeah, they've already marked it. You can see the marking, they're gonna take this out. And those are for hood pins right there. So that's gonna come out. Let's take the under, let's look at the underside. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's just as nice. Ah! <laughs> oh man. Okay. Uh, sent it to us, it was a running driving car, but it was not an original matching numbers car. Okay. But he decided to. Oh, yeah. Rest of my life, put the new LT5, he's going all DSC suspension, uh, upgraded monster brakes, gonna be a very contemporary leather interior. Okay. Uh, I don't know if it had factory air conditioning it wouldn't send it to us, but it's gonna have air conditioning. Is it a Tremec 6060 behind it or? T56. T56. Uh, no. Oh. oh, no, no, this is the actual GM uh, eight speed yeah. automatic. Oh, he's doing the eight speed yeah. automatic, okay. Yeah, yeah this yes. is the big boy, yeah. Oh. We're, we're putting the T56 in ours is what it is. All right. That 68 Camaro is going to be just a riot with that Corvette motor in it, LT5, DSE chassis. Oh, look at the pan. Okay. 
custom console. And what's going on with the the Super Cobra jet? That is an original Prino. That is a, a Cobra, yes. 429. It, it is a Cobra, Cobra jet. jet. God, you don't see these it's guys. Very rare. This is a very, very rare car, obviously. Yeah. Um, I can't tell you I've ever seen one in my lifetime. Dude, you never see these. Um, very, you just never do. Very rare. Um, Has this guy owned this since it was new also? I think so. Holy crap. I think oh, so. Oh, one owner? Yeah, he's had it for quite some time, if I remember correct. Okay. Dude, that's a right. Can I open the door? Yeah, yeah. Is that cool? Yeah. Okay. I always ask, you know, you know, you never... Yeah, now this is... Dude, the striker just felt brand new. I'd say it's a beautiful car. I mean, it really, really is. C4, automatic. I, it's so funny. I'm like, oh, hey, Mopar guy. I'm doing a bunch of videos on, like, Camaros and <laughs> super rear Fords and Corvettes. And I'm, these guys are going to be like, where the hell are the Mopars? But it's like, dude, this is rad. You know what? I... When you're a car guy, you can you're hopefully it. hopefully you're enough of a car guy that you can just really enjoy what was done by everyone. Yeah. If if you can't recognize so, uh, just a bitching car for what it is, then you know, come on, man. There you go. I love finding cars. You're like, I didn't know they built that, and you're like, really? How many? I don't know how many they made. Maybe seventy of them or whatever. <laughs> but it's like, holy crap, they made they made that. You know, someone ordered that. Someone knew what they were buying they, when they ordered it. Big block AC car. Midnight blue. What are they doing with the Fox body? Doing a Celine package. He's doing a Celine on it? Yeah. Okay. On it. So you're not putting like a Godzilla, you know, you know, mod motor or coyote motor in it? Uh, no, we are. You are? We are. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a monster. You got an it's a 63 Roadster. Yeah, he told me he was into Corvettes. And this one's his or his dad's? dad's his yeah. dad's. Okay. Yeah, Got another C10. Mouse motor. These guys mess with everything. Okay, what are we looking at? So this is something that we would start with. This is just the crappiest. Yeah, value. just a rotted, but it's a factory or it's a factory convertible. Yes, sir. 68 convertible. 68 convertible Camaro. Okay, yeah, it's got a VIN. Yep. So again, it's not a kit car. That's the neat thing about these carbon fiber editions is that they're not kits. They are legit cars. They you can register them. You it is a legit car. They start with basically a a corpse, and they build it up from there. You know, you're not cutting up really nice original cars. There's a couple shops that started with some really super nice cars, and they're putting custom chassis on them, and they're cutting up cars. And you're like, what are you doing? Exactly. But you find something rough, but it's got a VIN tag. That's, that's all we need. We you know? need this, and we need this. Yeah. Everything else will be new when we're done. Yeah. So that way you're like, hey man, we're, we're giving new life to a car that otherwise would be totally scrapped. Exactly, exactly. I'm happier with you guys saving a car that would otherwise just be trashed mm -hmm. and going, hey listen, this thing's a basket case. Well, does it have its numbers on it? Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. We can build something from there. Final assembly, but now this being where we produce carbon fiber cars. Okay. I like to refer to this as the North Pole comes to the car world and you're about to meet all, right. all the elves that make it happen. Oh, you're really ramping it up. Holy crap. Thought I was kidding. Okay, you're legit. That's, that is super legit. Okay, you guys wanted to see a charger. Look at this. Wow. Uh, it is a VIN car. So it is a true car. car. This is not a kit car. Not at all. Uh, Look at the cutouts. Look at you. All right, and whose chassis are you running again? This is a Shavazio de Design. Shavazio. Wow.
Now we've modified. But you tuck all the exhaust in there. Look at the trans or the, the drive shaft loop. So you'll meet Jared in a minute, but Jared is the guy that has put the floor pieces in. All this we've done here, and we're custom making the actual floor. Instead. Okay. And we'll lower this for you uh, after you walk through. And see. Oh yeah. You're a cross member. And you already met Josh, of course. I'll yes. Yes, you buy these directly from Dodge and they come with a factory warranty. Factory warranty. Josh, thanks for letting me interrupt. Oh, you're welcome. I know you're, you guys are busy, but American Racing. Okay, yeah. So, uh, Nick and those guys, uh, again, Jared got a box of components. And you can see how this one is custom made for this configuration. Yeah. So, we uh, put put this together for the SEMA show. All right. And now we'll pull this off. We'll send this to the, the, the American Race. Their headquarters is changing the location. It's going from New York to. Jared, are they going to West Virginia? Where's Where's our new shop at? The American Racing. This is Jared. Yeah. Uh, North Carolina. North, North Carolina. Carolina. Yeah. They well, they're smart. They're getting out of New York. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> when they get everything set back up, we'll send this piece to them. Okay. They'll start making these pieces for us, into which you could buy this piece through Direct Connection as well. Right. And th these are entirely entirely clearance to fit with the the chassis, with the A arms. And all, column, yes. all the steering column, and that runs right into the rack that you have down here. The Detroit Speed Jerry. That's a Detroit, that's a Detroit Speed rack. Okay. Yes. Look at the trans tunnel. And this was the car that was at SEMA. Yes. All right, this is the one, guys. This is the one you've been seeing. It's in the article that we did. This is the same car that you saw at SEMA. This is the same car that has been photographed again and again and again. It is now getting its floors and its powertrain and being completed. Now this one is going to a customer? Yes, this one okay. yes. going to Florida. It's going to Florida, okay. Or is that part of the chassis package? It's part of the chassis. We get that from the garage it's all Detroit Speed. Okay, it's all Detroit Speed, okay. Great. Oh yeah, look at the hinges. Yeah, those are nice. Oh, they're all contained, okay. There's no, uh, yeah, the, you don't have the traditional trunk springs on this one. Nope. <laughs> they have a little gas strut on them. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you don't need the resistance with carbon fiber. You'll funny. probably hurt it. Yeah, I do need to do that for piece of how light. It's like cardboard. Oh my gosh, that is just ridiculous how light that is. That is wild. All right, so we got another one, but this is not carbon fiber. So, okay, so technically there are portions of this car that are carbon fiber. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. We took this project over from another shop. All right. One of our customers uh, that we had built another car for All right. had acquired this car uh, in Chicago. All right. In pieces into which there were carbon fiber. There was another company that you could buy carbon fiber fenders from. All right. So our client had the steel car, but wanted to use the carbon fiber fenders. All right. And when we got this car, it was in 18,000 boxes. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> totes, fenders that weren't attached, uh, things like that. So we have recently, in December, it's been here since uh, a little bit before Christmas. A little bit before Christmas. Getting, getting transported at this point. OK. A, a metal car that we did the same thing the, the car carbon was, front clip carbon front clip okay but, uh, th this is also a hell crate this is also oh is it okay yep. uh, everything on this car is the exact same as our carbon fiber car uh just with the metal structure and this particular client supplied the interior it's all original but the vintage look like where our car is going to be more contemporary right uh, leather and alcantara are you telling me you do dyno tuning here we do that yes full dyno <laughs> all in one shop everything yeah, all right just making sure you guys just do everything <laughs> guys this thing is primo i mean you would think it's a steel car that is so the chair just the what 
It's the, just the fenders. The just, fenders have, and the hood, right? Bumper? Can I open this door? Of course. Okay, I just I have to ask. Oh my gosh, the strikers. This thing. So Hell Crate, Tremec. Look at this, guys. Audio. Oh. All the amenities of your modern car. Yeah. One of the most iconic bodies ever made. Yeah, modern AC. You can see it under the dash. It'll freeze you out. <laughs> It'll freeze you out. That is a trip, guys. Sound system, of course. I gave you guys a little bit of a tease of what we're looking at with a sound system on the back of this thing. My goodness. All right, steel trunk. And in case you were wondering, yeah, customer said, hey, why don't you do a service on it? Oh, sure, we'll be happy to. <laughs> we'll be happy to. And that's just on top of this radical Hellcat charger. These guys, this is a freaking toy store. This is ridiculous. And in case you didn't hear it, this 69 all carbon fiber Camaro is going to Barrett Jackson. It'll probably be already there by the time we publish this. This car has got to be done before the weekend. So yeah, they got their hands full. Now what's the engine? An LT4. It's another LT4. Oh my gosh, yeah. Come on. <laughs> I know we're gonna have some hardcore Mopar guys who are like, stop showing the Chevy stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm telling you, if you can't appreciate it for what it is, man, I'm telling you, this is freaking riot. Couple Hellcat 70 Chargers, 69 Camaro and carbon fiber. Shelby guy. This is nuts. Oh yeah, and it just so happens to be a, a Jaguar. Yeah. You gotta have one of those laying around to confuse yeah. everything. No, it's okay. It's easily one of the most attractive bodies ever made. And this is another customer's car? It is, a local guy here in Oklahoma. Uh, this is a 65. Bought it in 74 from the original here at Oklahoma. Wow. Second owner car. Dude, that is wild. Still considered possibly one of the sexiest designs of any automobile ever. You gotta be able to appreciate this stuff, man. I'm telling you. They are full blown putting this car together. Look at the radio panel. Right. But then after you clear it, it still has this kind of look to it. Sure. So they're polishing it. He'll polish it oh, yeah. up until Thursday. But yeah, he's buffing it out. I haven't seen this yet. This is this. this okay. Kind of incredible. Oh, yeah, there you go. There's your taillight housing. Yeah, that's all hands on deck on this one. That's great. Well, if you guys want a really good look at a Speed Tech chassis, this is it. And this is why they get the money that they do, because this is stinking artwork. Guys, this is really cherry. What a cool setup. And just think about this whole powertrain with a carbon fiber body. <laughs> it's going to weigh nothing. This thing is a stinking race car. These are the same chassis, effectively, that they're putting underneath E bodies and B bodies. I know we did the story on the AAR Cuda and the 70 Superbird. And this is no different. Look at that. So if you guys got the coin and you're so inclined, Speed Tech is going to set you up just like this. In case you guys were wondering how they can still keep this as a 70 Charger, think about this car. You got steel structure, C-pillar inner structure, inner door you have your door frame 
substructure of your dash. That's all original. Original factory dash is just sitting right up there on the shelf. That's got your VIN. It's just like replacing sheet metal. It's not a kit car, it's a real deal 70 charger. Well, these guys are thrashing to get this thing ready for Barrett Jackson, so I'm gonna get out of their hair. Because they gotta completely assemble a car in two days. This is gonna be a hell of a car when it's done. And they're already working on another one. If you guys wanna to donate to their WD-40 fund so that they can oil their doors, Hey, we'll, cars, not we'll, put, we'll put a link up in the description if you'd like to donate some PB Blaster or WD-40. All right, cold start on a Hellcat oh, yeah. 70 Charger. So this car belongs to a fellow named Terry Chambers. You get everything in this car looks vintage, but it is a hundred percent upgraded uh, stepped up. Stuff. Yeah. The radio, it's weird. It's one of those Bluetooth audio. Okay. So in fact, he was here uh, before Thanksgiving uh, to inspect the car drive and sign off on the car and we've already got the radio programmed to his phone oh great that's pretty cool all right it does ride nice it does it's impressive yeah stands very well yeah. steering is very tight very tight responsive excellent brakes I mean, as far as uh, oh yeah gosh because of me not because of the car <laughs> that's uh that's bad camera work <laughs> uh, she gets on it man it's a lot of fun oh my gosh yeah got to thank the guys at Finale Speed. If you want more awesome content, we're actually going to have a whole article on my trip here at Finale. We're going to give you even more detail, more inside information on Finale Speed, more about the carbon fiber chargers that they're making and other customs that they're building. If you want even more awesome Mopar content, please come and check us out at www.moparconnectionmagazine where new articles are written every single day, entirely free to you. And until then, we're gonna hang out here a little bit more and check out some awesome cars.